You're late. But no matter. Relax. We won't have any more gifts to deal with. Light and darkness are in perfect balance, thanks to your noble efforts. So, where would you like me to start? First, tell us who you are. Guess. I'm not in the mood for games. Guess. Mm. A Lufenian? No. Not one of them. They, on the other hand, are former Lufinians. They're working with me, but for their own ends. To be honest, they'd be just as happy to see me dead. I was the one who turned them into bats, after all. My enchantment will fade if you kill me. And I'm sure that's why they've been so very helpful to you. They're hoping you'll decide to slit my throat for all the trouble I've caused you. Isn't that right? I'm sorry I asked. To be honest, I don't give a damn about you or these bats. It doesn't matter who or what you are. I only want one thing from you, Astos. I want you to give me a reason to live. An enemy to fight. Can you do that? I'd love to, Jack. Really, I would. But I can't. I've lived too long, you see. An eternity of regret. My heart's full of enough sadness, resentment, hatred, and rage to fill an ocean. I might as well be a dark crystal myself. Jack, I ask you one more time. Who am I? <sighs> the King of the Dark Elves. That's all? Yeah. the Lofenians. I hate them so much I could scream. I was born in Cornelia. I traveled with the Lofenians across the plains. reborn. I came back. And now, I don't know where my heart should lie.
created so. I monitor and measure the strength of the darkness, the Christmas light, and the 